Hi everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today. If you are new here, make sure that you are subscribed down below. It's completely free to subscribe and I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. Today's video, we are gonna show you how to make any size t-shirt, so I'm gonna make this adult large size using our little tiny Cricut Joy. So if you're not familiar with the Joy, this is a machine that came out a few years ago, but it cuts pretty small items. You can only cut about 4.5 inches wide, and then it does do pretty long cuts, but width is usually gonna be where your problem lies. So I'm gonna show you how to take a design, and size it down to fit into the joy, make it fit, and put it back together on the shirt so that you have a really cute shirt. And we're gonna be using TechRap Puff for this. Now I do have a code over at TechRap. You can save 10% on your order using code Corinne10. I will link it down below where you can find the Puff. I absolutely love TechRap's product. They ship really quick and their product is really high quality. So let's head over to Design Space and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for Today we're gonna to be working with the Joy. So I have Joy selected up here in the upper right-hand corner. That way we know which machine we're working on. Now I just found this image over in the images of Design Space. I just searched Halloween and thought this one would be really fun and pretty easy to show you how you can create these bigger shirts with your Cricut Joy. So the first thing is I'm going to make sure it's sized correctly to my shirt size. So I'm using an adult large, which means I usually go about nine and a half inches wide. And then this is 6.11 inches tall. Now being that big, it's too big to cut on our Cricut Joy. And you can tell because we've got this red exclamation point over here on the side. Now, if you click that, it's going to tell you how big you can create your designs. So your image has to be 4.5 inches by 48 inches. So we can do this in a really simple way. And I think this way is super easy. What we're going to do is we're going to select our design and I want to duplicate it. Now we're going to need to take this design apart into a couple pieces so that we can actually use it with the joy. So I want to make sure to separate where it says sup and the witch hat from the word witches. You could slice this, but because of the way the words sit, slicing is gonna be a little bit difficult. So we're gonna use contour instead. So what I'm gonna do is down here in the bottom corner, you can click on the contour option. I wanna keep the word witches, but I wanna get rid of sup, the comma, and the hat. So all I did is I clicked on each piece that was up here, including the little center of the S to remove it. Go ahead and close that and now you'll see with the word witches it fits within our cuttable area now what i want to do is do the second one so i want to get rid of the word witches so i'm going to do the same thing where i click on contour and i just want to get rid of the word witches don't forget the dot in the i the center of the s and the center of the e then go ahead and close that and now you'll see that both of these fit within our size parameters and we can just put them together very simply using the Cricut Joy. So from here, go ahead and click make it. And it's going to ask you how you want to cut this. Now we're going to be using tech wrap. So I want to cut this on my mat and I want to make sure that I'm using my four and a half inch by 11 inch mat. I'm going to tell it to remember the selection and click confirm. Now what it'll show us is the two mats that we're going to use. So we have one with the word witches and then the other one that says sup with the hat. Now what is also fun about this is you could have contoured out the hat, cut that in a different color if you wanted to, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna use one color that way you can really easily see. Now when I cut my pieces of HTV to fit on our mat, I am going to cut them a little bit shorter than 12 inches so I don't waste that little bit of extra that I'm gonna get. So this one I need to go a, almost 10 inches and then this one over here we can go about nine inches. So that's just gonna save us some HTV. Now let's head over. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut the HTV to size and then we'll get everything cut out and press to our shirt. We're gonna use the um, tech wrap puff and this is the color tiffany now obviously have not used this color yet so i'm excited to use this i just thought this would look pretty because we're going to do it on this kind of orangey colored shirt and i just thought those would be really cool colors to go together so i'm going to show you a quick trick so when i use tech wrap products 
because a lot of the HTV, like it's not labeled or anything, it just looks like every other HTV, I grab a uh, slap bracelet, that's how I store them, and I take and I write on my slap bracelet what it is, so we know that this is Tech Wrap Puff. That way, when I go to put it away, I know exactly what this is and I don't get confused and think it's regular HTV. I know it's tech wrap and I know that it's puff. So it just makes it easier when you go to use it. That way you can easily tell what it is. They do 10 inch rolls. So all I'm going to do for this is I'm actually just going to roll it out and I'm going to cut it so that it's about four and a half inches. Now I don't love using their rolls. Uh, all the time because they're really, really rolly. You can see how like hard it is to unroll. Um, but they are really good quality, so it'll be fine. But what I'm going to do, slide it under my little guard. And I want to cut this so it's a little bit bigger than four inches. So I'm going to go like four and a quarter. Should be plenty. And then all I'm going to do is just use this guillotine cutter just to cut it down. And then I need to do this um, twice. But since this is just a 10 inch roll, I'm not really going to bother cutting an inch off of it. It'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut two sections of this HTV. And like I said, this is puff. This is really a fun product. I think it's going to look really cute on the shirt. And heck, we'll just use puff because it's fun. So again, I'm going to do about a quarter, four and a quarter ish should be good doesn't have to be exact but that's fine four and a quarter ish will work so here's the two pieces we're going to use now when we put these down on the mat you'll want to put them color side down you want to use the carrier sheet side down but in this case the backs of these is white so we're going to do color side down i'm going to go ahead and get the mat all ready and we can get ready to cut we have the joy all ready to go here is our vinyl loaded on to our mat so when you do the joy it automatically loads your mat it can like sense it then over on the computer, you need to make sure to hit continue. Now I am cutting this on the everyday iron on setting. Once your design is done, you will need to unload from your computer. Now I will say with the joy, I do prefer to use my phone app, but I don't have that available right this second. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. Now I do like to flip my mat over and pull this direction. It's still pretty curled, but not a big deal. So we're gonna load our next piece of HTV onto our mat to cut our second section for our design. Now if you have any bubbles in it, you do wanna kind of press those out just to make sure they don't cause any problems. And then I'm gonna load this one in and I'm gonna hit go over on my computer. Now that we're done cutting both of these, we're going to go ahead and weed them. And these should weed really easy. I find that the uh, Tech Wrap Puff is super simple to weed. press anything we want to do a couple of things the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to trim the HTV on the bottom of the sup and the witch part like the witch hat part pretty close to the bottom of the design here because remember that that witch part sort of sat in between them which is why we did the uh, contour instead of slice so I'm just gonna kind of cut pretty close to the bottom you don't have to you know do super duper close but you want to get a little bit closer and then I want to do the same thing up here like on the top of witches so for the witches I'm gonna cut kind of close in to the tops of the letters making sure not to cut the letters but I just want to make sure I'm pretty close to the top edge of them because again, this sits just a little bit in to our design. And using puff, it's best to only press once. The less you press puff, the better. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get that weeded pretty close. We're just some kind of cutting off that excess carrier sheet. Now we can bring in our t-shirt and we're gonna line everything up. So I loved this orange color. I just thought this was so pretty. And you guys always ask, this is a Gildan Stoff Style 640. And this is, I believe, Heather Orange. Um, I prefer the Heather colors in general. 
to um, any of the others just because I like the feel of them. I just think they're great. And plus, I can use them with bleach and sublimation. So now what I'm going to do is line up my design. So I'm going to start with my top section. You want to go about three fingers below your collar, and then you want to center it against the collar and the sleeves. So this one you kind of got to play with a little bit like that. See, that's not even close to centered. See how spread out my thumb is on this hand and it's not nearly as spread out on this hand. Especially if I put my fingers together, you can see that it's a lot more spread out. But what I am also going to do really quick is just try to remember where this sat. Because if I recall, it sits like this. Okay. So that's going to kind of help us see too, because the witches is, I just wanted to check. I thought it sat a little further this direction um, than the beginning part of it, which it does. So what we'll do is we're going to kind of figure out where we want this to sit, which honestly, that's not terrible. And this is not straight. I can tell you that by looking at it right now, but we're getting a little closer to center. So I want to move the witches over just a smidge. And then I want to just adjust it so that it's straight on the shirt. Now I will say that I do find that this is not the stickiest carrier sheet because you can see how it's not really um, staying totally stuck to the shirt. You can use a little bit of heat tape if it helps you. Uh, it's really up to you. I may put a little heat tape on this just to hold it down for when I take this over to the heat press. So I just want to double check that it's still three below. And then I want to just use the edges. That looks pretty straight and even. I'm gonna grab some heat tape. Even if you're somebody that doesn't work with sublimation, I do recommend having heat tape available, especially for things like this where it's super curly and it doesn't wanna hold itself down, so you need to hold it down. So I do recommend having just a little bit of heat tape. You don't even need like the fancy dispenser like I have, just a smidge of heat tape will do. Now the next thing you wanna be sure is that none of your HTV parts are under any carrier sheet. So like this little P right here, I just wanna double check that there's no carrier sheet under it, and there is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move the word witches over just a little. It's okay if it's not exactly where it was sitting in the um, design. You can kind of play with it and figure out where you want it to sit. You can kind of move it around how you see fit. But what I am gonna do is just make sure, because I just wanna be certain that there's no carrier sheet under any HTV. So I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right there just to hold them together. And you can absolutely just sort of go through and figure out where you need a little bit more heat tape to hold things down. I don't use a ton, but I'll use a couple like on the edges. And then I just sort of double check that I'm happy with where it's sitting. So now that I've got the heat tape on it, I'm gonna be able to pick the shirt up and look at the design and see if it looks straight or if it looks like it's arcing somewhere. This looks like it's arcing down, which is driving me crazy. So I'm just gonna peel the heat tape up. I'm gonna arc it back up a little bit. I'm just gonna pull it up a little. And then I'm gonna hold it up again and just check. Much better, it looks perfect. So that is one reason I recommend heat tape because if I were to pick this shirt up without that heat tape on it, this would have all just fallen off. So now what we need to do is we're gonna take this over to our heat press. We're gonna press this for 305 degrees for 15 seconds and we wanna use a firm pressure. We're ready to press at 305 for 15 seconds with a medium to firm pressure. Go ahead and open up that press and you should start to see it puff. I always like to take off the carrier sheet pretty quickly. And we now have our puffy design. I'm gonna take it over to the table and let you see what it looks like. Here's the finished shirt. I think it came out really, really cute. I'll get you an up close look at the puff. It's really puffy, really cute. I think the colors are perfect together. Again, this was TechRap Puff in the color Tiffany, and I'll link everything down below. But I just noticed how well it matches with the Joy, which I thought was really fun. So again, when you press Puff, you wanna make sure that with the Tech Wrap, it's 305 for 15 seconds, and that's gonna give you a really nice puffy finish. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else we do here on the channel, by all means, let me know. If you wanna see more joy tutorials, 
I am happy to do those for you. So please let me know in those comments. I don't know how many of you really have a Joy or if you have the larger machines and the Joy kind of doesn't do it for you. So just let me know. I am happy to make more tutorials featuring that little baby over there. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy traveling.